today I want to talk a little bit about the end of the two-state solution and why the two-state solution was dead from the beginning. It was born, stillborn. It was stillborn, right from the onset. And uh, I want to start by telling you a little story that happened to me. You know, I work in Hebron, but strangely, I live on the Mount of Olives. Now, uh, for years, I tried to shop in the Arab stores there, but basically, after a few years, I gave up. I tried to do it in, in order to encourage... Um, coexistence and those kind of feelings, but I, I found that they really didn't want me there, and they basically explained to me that, it, that they are victims of the jihad. If I come into their store, somebody else is looking at them, and they're judged, and they're saying, why are you letting this mustautan, this settler, come into your store? What, are you friendly with the settler? And so they don't want that, and so therefore, uh, uh, my Arab neighbors are actually quite fearful of being judged by their society around them. They are the greatest victims of the jihad. 